Good morning from the Ottawa National Forest in the UP of Michigan. I am once again hunting the waterfalls, this time looking for Cascade Falls. And I am going to take the extra trip up to the Bluff Trail. It's supposed to be worth it. It's a little out of the way. It's not the shortest part of the trail, but let's check it out. Now, getting here. It, it, Google Maps got it totally wrong. Well, close, but not quite. It's a lot of forest roads. I seem to think there are roads that weren't there. And it first tried to take me somewhere else rather than the trailhead. Make sure if you're searching, search for the trailhead, not the falls, because it tried to take me to the falls, which was, it can't go there. I don't know what he was thinking. So go for the trailhead. I'm going to head up that rock to the Bluff Trail. Like I said, I'm just climbing up a rock. It is a marked trail. It is a bit of a challenging one. This is what the trail is for. No idea where the falls are. Don't hear a thing. But this is a good view. Probably better in the fall. So by the time this video comes out, get up here. Be about right. After a not too long but strenuous scramble up the hill, I made it to what I think is the top. And it's got a great view. Okay, that was not the top. Apparently this is the top. Or a top, I don't know. There is a lot of nothing out here. You see those bluffs out there with the red rock. Oh look, a road. Well, it is wandering through the woods. At least the trail is marked well. I think I'm going down now. It's moments like this, like where does the trail go? I guess it goes that way. I like how they use extra long spikes so as the tree grows out that has room to grow so it can, doesn't have to be maintained for a few years I sense another view coming somewhere oh man oh I see the trees should be a view here Where's the trail? Well, this is the other side of that rock. That is not a viewpoint. And there is no trail markers and nothing that resembles a trail. I guess this was an out and back. I thought it was gonna be a loop. Because when I look back, that's where I came from. So I guess I'm going back. Perhaps in the fall, that's a good viewpoint. Perhaps the leaves up front will be thinned out. All right, made it back down. Now I'm looking for the waterfall, rather than just up to the top and back. Um, if it is wet, and you see that the rocks are wet on your way up, I wouldn't do it because you gotta come back down those rocks. And you want dry and sticky shoes to do it. If your shoes are slippery, don't even think about it. It's not a short hike. I've been hiking for a while now. And after a while, I passed the point where, hey, look, there is a split off to go up. So on the way in, there was a, or on the way, I guess as you were, would leave here, there was a point where you have a sign saying to parking via Ridge Trail and parking directly with the distance on those. So there is a way 
to make that loop, it's probably easier to do after you see the falls. So I couldn't find the, the signage. Um, anyway, I hear water, we'll be there in a second. Here's the other half of the cascade. Honestly, if you were looking to make a pretty waterfall for your mini golf course, you'd be modeling after something like this. Well, that'll do it for this uh, tour of Cascade Falls in the Ottawa National Forest in Michigan's UP. I usually come out here hoping to at least get a real good photograph or the harsh sun on the main falls up there. Not a chance, but I think I got something here. If I did, I'll show you that. So thanks for coming on this trip. By the way, my name is Peter. This is Scotty Wandering. I'm doing a whole tour of the UP, or at least a partial tour. I did another one earlier this year. I'm going to have to make many more visits because there is so much up here to explore. I'm going to head off to the Porcupine Mountains. I've been promising that for a couple videos now, but that's my next stop. See you on the next one. Get on out there and go chase some waterfalls.